pizzicato peeps and we're going to present seven pitiful posture problems my popular pal Kim Roy pointed out to me. Watch out for these different playing positions and try your best to get them perfect. If your elbows are crazy high or lazy low, you won't be able to bow smoothly and create a good sound. Your shoulders will hurt. Make sure your elbows are level and relaxed. Your wrist shouldn't be too high like the neck of a swan or too low like a monkey hanging from a branch. You want a relaxed, straight wrist. If your wrist is bent inward like a waiter carrying a tray or bent outward like a shadow puppet, it'll be difficult to play in tune, do vibrato shift, or have any fluid motion without tension. Keep your wrist straight. Make sure your violin isn't pointing too far out, like the wings of an airplane, or in front of you like you're growing a beard. Stay balanced by keeping your violin over your shoulder. To keep your bow from sliding around, don't hold your violin too high like the space needle or too low like you're digging a hole in the ground. Keep your violin shoulder level and parallel to the ground. To create a great tone, don't bring your wrist too close to your face or the tip of your bow too close to your ear. Keep your bow parallel to the bridge. Never slouch like you're playing a video game or sit stiff like a robot. Make sure your shoulders are rolled back and relaxed and your chest is open. If you play with good posture, you can play for longer and stay tension free. Well, we hope you enjoyed those extreme examples of pitiful positions and hopefully you'll aim for the perfect pose in the future. Please leave your comments on this video or visit our website at pizzicatopeeps.com.